strap yourself in, baby. We're in 1770 and it's gonna be epic. Let's do it. I set up in 1770 campground. Um, what a banger! It's a beautiful little park. Um, good thing there's power and water, but because there is trees everywhere, so yeah. if you're relying on solar, this ain't it. Well, yeah, yeah. We're stuck under the trees here, but that's good anyway because yeah, it gets so hot. But we're on power. Yeah, and we've got water views straight across the road, which I can't show you because some idiot parked his truck right in the way of them. But um, I yeah, didn't the say that. water is about. 50 meters that way. Uh, the kids are gone because we've followed up some people that we met at the last camp out we're at who um, are camp just over there and their kids get on like an absolute house on fire. So, yep, they're so out if you of haven't here. watched the Baffle Creek camp out, yeah, yeah, go check that go out. Go check that one out. That uh, was our last bid. That was a banger. But yeah, so we are going to set up here. We don't know what we're going to get up to here because we only decided to come here yesterday just to follow those guys so the kids could hang out. But when. We'll stalk them. Yeah, I'll stalk them all. Hi, Burgatron. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, jump on it. If you're in the Dunsborough area in WA, Burgatron Burgers, best burger shop in Australia. Go and check them out. Apparently. So we'll make that call when we get there. But However, at the Baffle Creek cookout, yeah. he did do a mean stew. Did so. cook a mean stew. So we'll give you yeah. props for his stew cooking abilities. <laughs> but anyway, we're going to go and check out what we can get up to. And we'll let you know because I'm pretty sure it's going to be action packed but anyway Hayley's going to settle into a drink even though it is only lunch time ish the only thing left in yes, the fridge we've run out of drinks we need to go need to go find somewhere and buy some drinks and a few more things but which means i didn't drink enough at the baffled creek retreat i find that very hard to believe <laughs> <laughs> but anyway right let's get stuck straight into this episode check this place out holy god it's been a while since we've been to uh been anything that looks like this it is uh, magnificent. When the tide comes back in, probably look even better. But the weather is about as good as it's going to get, I reckon. It's the insane 31 degrees, sun's out, not, a, not really a cloud in the sky, some little fluffy white ones, but and no wind yet, so you. So just a short drive up from the caravan park is this lookout at 1770. So you can go for a couple of different walks on the different sides of the point here. Um, we've gone on the side that the campground is, or the campground's just down the, the beach here, down with the yachts that you can see beside us. But yeah, you can walk around the point there and do a short walk and see what's out the front. Everywhere is mint. This is Busted Bay behind yeah. us. Um, the mouth of the river is just over there, so what an epic little spot. And the weather has turned it on, so... Yeah, the wind stopped at pretty much nothing, and it is primo. So, while well, it's playing the, uh, playing the game with us, we're going to just explore the area a little bit. Might go and do some paddle boarding and do um, some fishing this Savo. Seen a fella out here on a paddleboard catching some good waves, so I might have to go and get the board off the roof. That yeah. sounds very ambitious. <laughs> it's been a while. All right, let's go and see what L7070 has to offer. Uh, Mum's on. Oh. Uh, yay! You! Fish on, finally. Finally caught a decent fish. <laughs> nice little brimbo. There's heaps of, uh, heaps of, about heaps of bias, but this is the first time we've managed to hook on about 300 pillies, so. I don't know, I think he might turn into dinner. Do you want to go again? So, Brim have got to be 25 in Queensland. And he's... 
one is, well, we've got to make sure you're doing the right thing. This one is 32. So, keeper. Finally got a keeper. So Haley's going to turn him into dinner, I reckon. Yep. Mum's on. We've got another little brimbo. Yeah, this out, I just dropped one on my foot. The tide's coming in so quick now, and there's oysters everywhere. We're gonna to have to be very careful. A bit of karma, the fish got me back for hooking it through the mouth, I guess. So, anyway, get this little fella off and get it back out. It's a bit of fun, but even the smallest, the brim put up a nice little fight when you're using light enough gear. So, oh, and again. <laughs> I do promise you, I know you've been watching it, but and it looks like I haven't got a clue, but I have been fishing all my life, but <laughs> I just make it look like I'm really, really bad at it. Alright, uh, see if we can get another one. Not quite a keeper, but better than what we have been doing. Great little fighters they are, Brim. Great for the kids. They don't normally take anything and... Speaking of kids, I don't know what this one's over here doing, but... I'm about to lose all my rods in the water. <laughs> yeah, we'll get the hook out of this and throw it back in. Just a keeper, but nah. I don't think we'll keep him. I don't mind, I don't know if keep him things that are just on legal, but especially Brim, for those of you that don't know, Brim are really slow growing fish, so um, something even that size would be quite probably 10 or 15 years old, maybe. But yeah, so just want to go back and swim another day. Beautiful in here. Haven't walked through anything looking similar to this since we got out of Tassie. The, um, yeah, nice little timber boardwalk all the way through it. Um, yeah, absolutely gorgeous. Kids are kids are profiting out there, running around with the uh, with their mates, and yeah, absolutely stunning. So the paperback boardwalk was awesome. Um, we've left there and we've jumped in the cars and we come just back down the road a bit to Chinaman's Beach. Um, so a bit of a fun fact, this is one of, if not the last surfable beach in Queensland. Because after this you get struck by the reef and the swell doesn't get in. So yeah, probably the last time we'll see any sort of surfable wave for a while, I reckon. There, anyway, let's go check it out. The weather is on point again. Just going back to that paperback walk, it's a bush heritage uh, forest boardwalk and they have multiple around Australia. Um, they get donations and they um, make the land heritage and do boardwalks and things through it as well. So you can enjoy the area, um, but they keep it there for the native animals and plants to grow. Yeah, right, a bit of, bit of what flora and fauna conservation. Yeah. Nice work, Bush Heritage Foundation or Corporation or whatever it is. Yeah, this uh, 1770 area is bloody beautiful. Um, everywhere we've been just keeps turning it on for us. Uh, if you're looking for somewhere to come for a really good holiday, 
this is probably it, but don't come over winter because apparently it's their peak season and they are really busy. So Yeah, now's a really nice time. It's just after Easter. They said at the caravan park they've settled down a little bit with bookings and stuff, but you know, people are coming and going all the time, so like us, you might luck out and get a spot instantly. Yeah, our spot is sick, Spontan we love it. Spontaneous <laughs> booking and we managed to, managed to jag a six site with yeah. um, right near the water, so yeah. anyway, let's keep checking this out before the boys kill themselves climbing trees and doing kid things. <laughs> <laughs> this out. How bloody good is this? Sitting down, a few bevies. Lines out. Kids are down there smashing the fish. A little whiting coming in everywhere. And check this. Yep, that'll do. Seriously, if you haven't made your way to 1770 and experienced one of these sunsets, they are epic and something that everyone should experience. We spent every afternoon down here just fishing and watching the sun go down, watching the race swim around and just taking it all in. But yeah, if you um, ever going to do one thing in your life, get a 1770 and witness one of these sunsets. They are incredible. All right, so that's our time here at 1770 done. I uh, hope you enjoyed that one. It has been absolutely amazing to make it. 1770 is mint. Um, yeah, we stopped here as a bit of an impromptu stop and really don't want to go but all good things must come to an end so we're onward and upward and heading north um yeah so if you enjoy this one drop us some love you know the drill by now but like subscribe um hit that notification button so you don't miss anything that's coming up but we'll um we'll get moving and we'll see you on the next episode <laughs>